Hey Reader Pops, welcome to Fall Reading Diary. <laughs> it's still 100 degrees outside. It's September 6th. I think it's appropriate to start Fall Reading Diaries and I'm so excited for this video because I'm basically just gonna try to get into the fall spirit. We're gonna go to Barnes and Noble, try to buy some fall books. Fox doing something back there, sketchy. Why are you so cute? I'm gonna set up some spreads in my reading journal because I haven't been keeping up with that. I kind of want to like make this part of the shelf that's empty, the fall TBR or something and like make a little sign. And then every time I read a book off my fall TBR, we can move it to a different shelf. And then also just do some reading in this video because I am 310 pages into Killer Instinct by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. This is the second book in the Natural series, which a is a young adult kind of mystery series following these prodigy kids who get hired in the FBI. It's super fun and fast paced and this one's getting really good so far i think i only have like 65 pages left i normally don't do this where i'm reading a physical book and also have a different audiobook i don't know what's gotten into me but i bought the entire throne of glass series in the new paperback covers and every piece of content that i've been consuming on book talk on booktube on everything has been related to the throne of glass series and i've read three books in the series and then stopped and so i've just been like warring with myself trying to figure out if i should reread the first three books or just try to remember by like reading wrap-ups, watching YouTube videos, and trying to like get the gist and jog my memory but I read them in like 2021, I think. So I finally just decided to download the audiobook of Throne of Glass and I've been listening to this because I've been doing so many things lately where I wished I had an audiobook, like doing a puzzle, doing my laundry. So I was like, okay, this is a perfect opportunity to just audiobook the books I've already read and then really commit to finishing the Throne of Glass series. I'm considering making a separate video, reading that whole series, I don't know. Because if it's spoiler free, I don't know what there is to say by the time I'm reading like Kingdom of Ash and it's a thousand pages and I can't talk about any of the details but could be fun i don't know because i did that for akatar so i just feel like a good long fantasy series is such a fall vibe so yeah let's just get started on some audiobooking or reading and puzzling changed into sweats and a hoodie because it's freezing here. But I just finished this book. I gave it four stars. I also gave the first book in the series four stars. I liked this one more though. Like I was way more invested in the love triangle. For one moment, I actually cared about Michael, which I'm sorry, but in the first book, that's the reason I didn't care about the romance. Cause I was like, I clearly like Dean way more than Michael. Like this Michael dude has zero chance, which you never know, obviously in a love triangle, like I still don't know what's gonna happen in the romance, but I just didn't like him, didn't root for him, so it didn't feel like a love triangle, it just felt like a random dude. <laughs> and then Dean, who I actually was rooting for. But this one, I had some moments where I was like, dang, Michael's kind of a slay option for her. But yeah, this one was better in my opinion than the first one, but I feel like they're still kind of like the same rating. And this is the first book I've read in September, so happy for that. And now I'm going to mod podge this puzzle. We've been framing them and then putting them along the stairwell and we have Two more to do. This is the fifth one out of six. I think I'm gonna read Powerless by Lauren Roberts. I'm so excited to read this because I'd seen all of the TikToks that she was posting as she was writing the book because this is her first debut novel and she would make TikToks that would go viral, like kind of giving, like showing little snippets of different scenes and stuff and like, I cannot get over his face in the camera right now. Little tidbits about like the enemies to lovers plot and everything and people would go crazy in the comments because it just sounded like it'd be such a good book. But I'm not gonna lie, I was a little, didn't know if I was gonna pick it up or not because it's a long fantasy book and it's her debut novel. I just didn't know if it was gonna be good or not. And then Sarah read it and she has been raving about it, saying that it's five stars, which I'm so happy for because I did follow this girl's journey as she was writing it. So I'm glad to know that Sarah thinks it's so good. So now I'm really excited to read it and I've been wanting to read a fantasy romance. So this is perfect for the fall vibes. Cool. Ta-da! Puzzle number five. Dog edition. Dogs at the park. Doggos being doggos. Friends with dogs. Or you could say dogs. So many and all different. He loves it. Onto the puzzle wall. Thoughts? 
it's the next day and i'm doing a morning barnes and noble trip because hopefully it will be kind of empty and i'm wearing my sweater vest because it's too hot for a real sweater but a sweater vest is still a little bit more of a fall vibe also i painted my nails and i never paint my nails and i can't i think i do like it actually it's cute so when i hold up books it can be like oh little blue okay Let's go buy some fall books, I guess. I don't know what I'm about to get in here at all. I didn't really see any videos of things that I wanted, so. That was fun. I got $10 off because I have a membership to Barnes & Noble. And last time I came here, I got $10 off too. So my membership's definitely paid off. But I got two special editions with sprayed edges, which is so fun because I've had the desire for more special editions that I could put onto my shelf and to have like a little wall of cute sprayed edges because I really don't have any. So that's so exciting. I brought in this little stool because we're going to do something to the shelves. But before that, you might be wondering what I got. My little expedition. I want to do an entire book haul of like a bunch of books I've been getting over like two months or so. So forget you ever saw this. I'm just going to go through them quickly. Okay. When that video comes out, just forget about this. Assistant to the villain. Oh wow. Barnes and Noble, our monthly pick. Apparently this is from the same publishing house as Fourth Wing. And people think that this publishing house has like all the marketing money in the world because Fourth Wing went crazy. And how is this? one a Barnes and Noble monthly pick I mean maybe you can buy that I don't know but look at the edges the seven year slip by Ashley Post I don't not know how to say any of these last names Poston Post I finally got iron gold by Pierce Brown fourth book in the Red Rising series for some reason I have a weird feeling that I'm gonna really like this book possibly rate it like a 4.5 or 5 stars and that's Belladonna by Adeline Grace and this is the Barnes and Noble exclusive edition I love these sprayed edges but this one's damaged but it was the last one and I don't care. I feel like all of my paperbacks get damaged in some way, shape, or form. And if it's just going to sit like this on the shelf, I won't really notice. So look how cute. That's so cool. I can't wait to like collect cool books like this. Oh, also Stephen King had a new book out. Didn't know that was happening at all, but I didn't buy it because it was about a character from the Mr. Mercedes trilogy, I think. And I haven't read those books. So that probably means I would have like four books to read. So I just didn't pick that one up, but I did get the Brothers Hawthorne. I forgot this was coming out. Everyone's been really excited about this and I really like this hardback of it. Speaking of the natural series, I got the last book, Bad Blood. I originally thought it was a trilogy and said that in my library video and all the comments informed me that it's four books. Those are all the books that I got. I feel like they're pretty fall-ish. Look how cute. I'm obsessed with sprayed edges now. I won't lie. I also went to Sephora because I needed bronzer and conditioner. I was out of both, but of course I ended up getting shower gel too because I've never smelled this scent and it's so good. So I also had to get the lotion, but I actually went in there for this conditioner I don't use the shampoo of this just the conditioner because it smells so good and then the NARS Laguna bronzer That's what I actually went in for but okay I visually want to see my fall TBR and also all the books that I've been hauling So I brought my stool and I don't like how any of these books look on this shelf It's like a very random amalgamation of different genres and they're different sizes and it just bothers me So I'm gonna put them on the upper shelf so that we just don't have to see it as much And then we're gonna put like my fall TBR and book haul on the shelf instead Can't be late Perhaps if you give me a warning I also forgot to mention that I just got Fourth Wing in the mail. I read this a while ago, but I never got a physical copy. And so it kind of felt like, I know it sounds dumb, but I just like forgot that I had read it because I'd never seen it on my shelf. I know. I know, I just really, this book's like massive. I just wanted it. And then also I got paper that's fully a sticker on the back for my reading journal. So I'm super excited to do that. I'm gonna do that right after Here's this. Here's my new books shelf. See, I don't know if I like some of them facing out like this. 
I can't tell. I'm gonna read the more of Powerless now. I'm only like 36 pages in, but I really like it so far. I was trying to do a sort of fall TBR spread. This is what it's looking like right now. I tried to do cursive because Katie is reading this cursive and I will never be doing that again. It doesn't look very good at all. Listen, I'm gonna be wearing this crew neck in so many of the other clips, even though this video was filmed over like a week and a half, but I finished Powerless a few days ago and I really liked it. And this is funny, I'm actually filming this after this video is almost done because when I started reading this book, I thought that I was going to film a, this video ends when I find a five-star read video, but spoiler alert, the next book that I read is a five stars. So me reading this book and the next book and the next book will just be in this vlog for fun and not necessarily to be a main channel video because I found a five-star book within like the second book that I read in the video and I want to make that one a longer one so I'll go ahead and just review this one here anyways I don't know what happens to my brain during fantasy romance and I'm starting to wonder if I even understand my own taste that well because like in my head I love fantasy romance because of books like the Akatar series and the Cruel Prince trilogy but the Cruel Prince trilogy is a lot of politics and then with certain books like Fourth Wing and with this one and and with the serpent and the wings of night I read them and then I fully forget them like something about fantasy romance makes me forget them so fast and I really appreciated her writing style in this like I think this book is insane as a debut novel like I am jealous as someone who wants to write a book one day she should be so proud of this book I think it's amazing and it's definitely like above a four star I don't really know what to rate it like I think I would say it's like a 4.25 or something specific like that I really enjoyed it and I'm really excited to pick up the next book but sometimes I just feel like a little bit removed when I read fantasy romance and I don't know why but if you love fantasy romance I think you should pick this book up I fully 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 enjoyed it while reading it I just don't have vivid memory of enjoying reading it if that makes any sense at all and it could be because the book I read after this was a five star and five stars just kind of like cloud your vision so much because you're so in love with that book that you just kind of forget the books that you read before. I don't know if this is making any sense, but yeah, this was a great fantasy romance and I feel like I rate all of them like a 4.25 and I really enjoyed this one and you would not be able to tell that she's a young author, a new author, a debut author. You would not be able to tell. Like I think that she should be as hyped up as books like Fourth Wing. So can't wait for her next book. Absolutely insane. And now you're about to watch me read The Seven Year Slip. Have fun watching that because you're about to watch me absolutely fall in love with the book. I'm reading Seven Year Slip and the subtleties of her writing are just so good i'm on page 71 and this little quote your life my throat hurts <laughs> your life changed because of some french fries he barked a laugh i can't talk my throat voice hurts he barked a laugh bright and golden and said to my utter surprise the things you least expect usually do it's just the little word choices like bright and golden or i barked a laugh or just a little quote even and it's funny too this i'm only on page 70 but this could be a five star read i'm just having that feeling so we'll see which is so unexpected because i was never interested in this author's books and suddenly so good it is the next day i'm on page 148 and i went on spotify and turned on a little playlist and i'm playing it on the tv for the first time and it's actually helping me focus and it's immersing me in the story way more but this book is so good i'm really liking it i think oh spock's getting excited because i'm excited i think this book is in danger of being a five star read love is an 11 pie i am now on page 170 i've been writing in this book like i have not written a book in so long i don't even remember the last time i wrote in a book like this i think something contributing to this reaction is i'm reading slower so i'm really trying to like take in all the words but it's because i love the writing but i also wouldn't have known i liked the writing if i hadn't read it slow so it kind of goes both ways I, I don't know if it's a five star yet but i think i mean the way that i'm reacting is similar to other five star books i've read and something that i'm noticing is that five star books make me have visceral reactions to the point where if other people were in the room it would be embarrassing five star books have lines that make you constantly put them down 
and stare at a wall for a second and think about how beautiful a line is or make me laugh out loud, which makes me also look really scary. And yeah, we're only 170 pages in and I've had so many moments like that. So I will kind of be in shock if this is not a five-star read, but I'm also just in shock because I've never had interest in this author's books because she published The Dead Romantics last year. And I was like, a ghost romance? Like, I don't really want to read that for some reason. And even when this one came out, completely ignored it. And if Destiny had not read this book, I would have never picked it up. So this is so crazy. And I think I'm learning that women's literary fiction or women's fiction, whatever it's called, with romance subplots are some of my favorites because this reminds me of Emily Henry's books and Catherine Center's books. Both those authors I have so many five-star reads from. So it's starting to add up and I think I'm starting to learn my taste a little bit more. Here's my copy of Belladonna. I think I hauled it earlier in this video, but it's so cute. I'm on chapter two and I'm very intrigued. I'm also super excited to see what I think about this book because I think this is a young adult romance, but it's kind of gothic. And it's interesting because some people who I follow have given it five stars and some people have given it two stars. So I have genuinely no clue what I'm going to think, which is kind of fun because I'll just have to really think for myself, which is crazy. I also have been actually looking at playlists and listening to music while I read. I did that for seven year slip and I think it added so much. So I'll just look up like random playlists that other people make. I know it's confusing because some people can't listen to music while they read, but it's actually been helping me focus, which I never would have thought I said because I could have sworn I used to never be able to do this and now I can randomly. So. I guess you can change, I don't know. I want to update my Notion for my September TBR and fall books that I want to read. And I have worked with Notion before, but this video is also sponsored by them. And I actually use Notion in my daily life. It has helped me actually organize things, keep track of progress. And it's just very nice to visually kind of see my life and projects that I'm working on. And since September is kind of the month of going back to school, if you don't use this to organize your notes, your assignment due dates, you can organize all of that in this one space. And it's super customizable. So customizable to the point that other people have made templates that you can just copy and paste because some people are very creative with it and are better at doing it. So I actually have some in here that are just taken from other people that were free templates. <laughs> So my dog's barking now. Thoughts? You can even do group projects with other people and invite them to collaborate on your Notion. So here's what my dashboard looks like. I keep mine pretty much the same because I'm more of a simple Notion user. I don't get too fancy, but I like the color pink. So I'm trying to make it a little cute. I have this book tracker where I keep track of how many books I've read. And then I have three different categories, life, books, and projects. So one of my favorite pages is the TBR of 2020. Oh. 2022, 23. I just make a little list of books that I want to read for the month. And I really like this because when you check it off, it actually crosses it out. So it feels very productive. There's actually something called Notion AI now. And there are tons of different ways that you use it. But one way that I specifically use it for books, you press space and then I write web clipper. What is Beach Read by Emily Henry about? And then it'll literally just give me a summary of the book from the internet. And I could just look it up on the internet, but if I'm already in Notion planning what books I want to read, I can just tell the AI to tell me what the books are about. And then I can decide if I want to read them. And you can make it summarize your notes from class. You can even ask it to do some research for you so that you can take notes, but it's also very aesthetic and easy to use. You can make it cute if you want. You can put little Spotify playlists in there and also everything is in one place. So I can have my books and my TBR, but then I can also just have like my general life to-do list in here. I can keep track of the workouts that I've been doing. Like for my half marathon training, I was tracking that. Or for YouTube, I can do monthly video ideas. And then I have like my September video plans or I can keep track of brand deals. And then on my bookshelf, this is the template that was made Made by Ellie Gons and I just got it for free but I have my September TBR here and then I have books I need to read next if we click on the library you can see I have a next to read a read currently reading and want to read but yeah that's just how I use it there are tons of ways to use it but I genuinely think it makes me more organized so you can click the link in the description to get started using it it's free and yeah it looks like I am not following my September TBR that well this month as you can see so there's that but yeah thank you Notion for sponsoring this video and you guys should tag me on Instagram with what your little dashboard looks like I'm curious to see how 
everyone else uses it. It's later now. I made myself some tea. I finished the seven year slip like actually a few days ago and I didn't give it a rating at the time because I just couldn't figure one out mostly because I was filming the this video ends when I find a five star book video and then I was like did I find it on the second book and I honestly think I did like I know Sarah Crowley gave this a 4.75 and I was like oh that's such a specific rating like maybe I agree with that but a five star also feels so correct so I think as of now it's a five star book I absolutely loved it and I will talk about it more in depth in so many videos I'm sure but I just stumbled across this TikTok of a girl talking about how her books grew mold because of how humid it was in her room. And then I was like looking up videos on how to properly care for your books. And it said things like, you know, try to close the windows when you're not in the room so there's not direct sunlight. Make sure you're dusting your shelves and even get like a dehumidifier. So I'm learning things of like how to take care of a library since it's my dream to have one. So I also just want to rearrange my books by height. I feel like that would be pleasing to the eye because sometimes I look at my shelves and I'm like, why am I not good at organizing? Them. I'm just gonna try to like move books around maybe dust and vacuum a little bit and just make sure nothing funky is going on You know, I'm sure it's not because I just moved in but Reorganized my bookshelves last night. I don't know if you can tell on camera like how stark of a difference it is I just tried to organize them by height a little bit more But I also got a rug in this room which I'm trying to decide if it's like in a good spot We'll figure that out. But I have kind of a sad update I think at least for now I'm going to put down Belladonna I got like 155 pages in at the beginning I really enjoyed it and I do feel like her relationship with death is gonna get really interesting But at the current moment I find myself getting really bored and it is a little bit of a murder mystery as well But I don't necessarily care about each character too much so I feel like at this point you could tell me any character and I don't think I would care for the reveal so yeah plus the people that I watch that I really usually agree with their book ratings have given this like a two or three star and then there are some people who have given it a five but it just feels like it's going towards like that three star route in which case I don't want to spend like four more hours kind of pushing myself to read it if it's just gonna be a three star anyway so and I'm also trying not to get into a book slump so I think I'm going to take the bookmark out but I downloaded binding 13 on my kindle I started a few pages of that uh, and then I also started Things You Save in a Fire by Catherine Center. So hopefully one of these catches on. But we got these three books read in this video and all of them were very highly rated. So I think that's a success on setting up for fall and some fall reading. And don't forget to click the link in the description to sign up for Notion if you don't already use it. And I'll see you guys somewhere else on the internet. Bye.